How do you install a Kodi on Apple TV 4 or any other Apple TV? Um, there's few things are required before you do anything. You need a USB Type C and an Xcode 7, which is um, I'm gonna put all the links in the description. iOS app uh, signer and a Kodi file as well which is Kodi minus, that's 2015, that's Kodi 16, and if you're on a Kodi 17, and also I'm gonna provide that link as well on the description, so you can find them below, but I prefer Kodi uh, 16, the interface are um, bit easier to use, um, but it's down to you, if you're on a Kodi 17, it still works for the both of them. Um, once you have a USB Type-C for um, <clears throat> Apple TV 4 um, what do you need to do just to make sure that um, our, t our Apple TV is connect to uh, iTunes we can see this uh, uh, mine is the latest version soft uh, version is 9.2 um, if you in any version you still work um, 9.1 this is for non jailbreaker uh, device my Apple TV is not jailbroken so uh, you can close it just to me uh, just to, uh, to make sure that it's connected uh, you go to open Xcode um, yep first things you need to uh, once you download those file you need uh, iOS app signer and a uh, Kodi uh, file as well. That's it. It's two files you need it for the beginning. So uh, you go to create new Xcode project and you're gonna go through the TV OS and application single view. Okay, you name it. I'm gonna call test and um, that's test. Uh, yeah, uh, and I'm gonna change this to something else. Adam, no. Um, organization name. You can call it whatever you like. Um, product num name. Uh, you should remember this. Um, my just test one. Okay, and this one is test two. I just do and. Uh, make sure put the language in Swift and this is organization uh, identified as my computer name um, just click on these two include unit test include UI test use the uh, don't worry about the first one hit next and now is asking you where you want to this file to be saved I'm gonna save it in my folder which is Kodi 16 for Apple TV 4 so I'm gonna go here just to make sure show you again I'm gonna click that file folder I mean great okay now uh, we know that is our Apple TV is connected you can see and in here you can see bundle uh, identifier is test one and make sure I forgot to mention in the beginning, you need Apple ID, uh, a developer Apple ID as well. So uh, when you sign in, it would give you fix this issue. Sign in with your Apple ID here. If you click, if you don't have Apple ID, um, it would uh, give you an option or either, I think. Yeah, just if you, if you don't have it, add an account. But mine's already I logged in and if you don't have an uh, developer ID as a free one I'm gonna put that link in the description so you can uh, download that as well you can make and uh, make a new uh, developer ID so fix the issue okay it's all done now so uh, for now we don't need this we're not gonna close it we just minimize it um, 
we're going to open the iOS app signer and this is the iOS app signer look like we look, we're gonna browse you can see this test one is already created in the folder I haven't closed the folder so I'm gonna select this file which is it shows you Kodi 2015 uh, download it so now is asking you uh, uh, sign in with this one um, I'm gonna I have done that a lot of them as you can see this is the uh, test one we just created okay so now we're gonna do the start and now is asking you again where do you want to save this file is automatically will select the folder because I put it on folder if not if you don't create folder it would ask you where do you want to save it so I'm just you can choose wherever you want but mine's want to be saved in the folder because I have lots of files I don't want to be looking for that file okay hit head next just to make sure this is the this is the file this is this file uh, we now is unpacking and is creating a IPA uh, minimize this uh, this is the Kodi uh, this is the latest file being updated and I'm gonna put uh, provide this website on the description below and this is the iOS app signer which is you can download here okay so you can just view it online you don't need to download or, or either you can download but I, I prefer to download it to just make sure it's work okay uh, this is the file I forgot to mention from the beginning I should I should uh, mention that um, so this is the two file you need this one and this one okay so now uh, we're gonna minimize uh, yeah we you can see uh, while we were going through the um, uh, the other things it's already done it doesn't take too long it's, it says done output at user wherever so now we don't need this you can close uh, you can see this if, uh, there's an IPA just created now we're gonna go back to um, uh, Xcode we're gonna go to Windows go into device um, if you you can see this is my iMac and this is your Apple TV so mine's already I have one but I'm gonna remove it are you sure you want to remove Kodi yes delete it okay so now it's all uh, there's nothing inside here you can see okay um, if you you can drag the file uh, you can drag the IPA with that you can select uh, select that plus button you go to the uh, where do you save that you can see so click open I'm gonna click open and wait until you see that this is copied and uh, Cody and here it says Apple TV is busy wait for it Um, it doesn't take that long it should be finished within a minute or less than a minute um, and also I'm gonna provide this IPA on the description below so you don't need to go through all this you can just open uh, Xcode um, you can see this Kodi is installed it says installed apps you can see it's Kodi and if you want to remove it, highlight it and click that minus button. Um, I'm just going to remove it again just to show you that it works with the dragon as well. It's the same, same things. But this is it's easier to if you drag it uh, to that area or you can hit that plus button. Like I said, I'm going to put that link, uh, put that file in the description, the IPA you can just open the uh, export um, you don't need to follow all these steps 
just what do you need to do open uh, uh, Xcode go to Windows device which I already have it here um, so once you've done that select your Apple TV make sure you can see this um, test one is installed again um, <clears throat> so I'm gonna close that again you can see um, make sure I'm gonna go uh, I'm gonna go back to Kodi so um, you don't even need to go to create a new Xcode project uh, this is from the beginning when you open the Kodi Xcode I mean sorry uh, Xcode uh, just launch here do not hit anything just go to Windows device and you should see your Apple TV here then now uh, that file I just created where is it yeah uh, the IP uh, IPA uh, file you can just drag it and I say I already have one uh, it's not gonna work so if you install two um, so that's it that's really easy but the other step if it didn't work for you that way just follow the first step thank you very much for watching I hope you enjoyed the video like always and if you have any problem let me know um, if you think that video would help in you please uh, subscribe or comment like my youtube channel thank you very much